Hey, you YouTube's Wealth and Wealth Development. This is my 387th weekly update. This has been, honestly, it's been like a rough week, but for a lot of reasons, you know what I mean? So this is uh, one of the last heavy weeks I'll have. Actually, next week is going to be the last and the heaviest of these weeks I've had uh, leading up to Manatee. Um, right now, we're playing in the... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's a thing on the thing here that just fell. I'll pick it up later. Uh, right now, playing around in the 80s percent range um, of comp weight. Um, and everything's actually going pretty okay. Um, I do anticipate still having just a touch of trouble with the log. But everything else should be pretty okay. Um... Farmers, 200 pounds is a joke. Um, and then the deadlift starting at the 400s, no problem. 455, I know I can do that any day of the week. Or no, it's 455 and 495. I know I can do the 455 any day of the week now. Um, 495 day of, with good round of rest, I should be okay. Um, probably will not be getting that 545, but that's okay. Uh, gonna have to be touching some stones next week when I'm not quite as beat up because the intensity will be higher but the volume on everything is going to be a lot, lot lower. So my joints shouldn't hurt quite as much. Plus, I should have a little bit less uh, actual work work to do. Um, you know, those things that make you money, right? Good, crazy amount of stone orders this week uh, finishing up and working on the things of that nature. So. Uh, that took up a lot of my time, and I was uh, doing a lot of, uh, I was coaching some classes at the gym, both yesterday, today, and I will be on Monday as well, uh, which means I'm up 4.30-ish in the morning, and then I don't get home till somewhere around 8, so it's 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 a very long day, um, but that, that won't be my uh, new schedule for much longer just another day of that so next week I should feel a little bit better coming out uh, which is good because I'll need the extra rest um, this week just to finish it up tomorrow I'll be doing just some tricep accessory stuff um, and that's it that's all I'm gonna do tomorrow because uh, the rest of me feels really beat up um, but everything's still going in the right direction everything's working out pretty okay so so I'm not. Uh, I'm feeling feeling pretty good about it. We'll see how everything goes, right? Uh, you never you never really know. You know what I mean? So it's 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 one of those things. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good. Dropping a little bit of weight steadily. Um, we're about three weeks out, and I think I'm walking around around 198 right now. Um, I'd like to be around 195 or 193 before I actually have to do a water cut. Uh, do not want to have to do another 20 pound water cut. That was very stressful, very strenuous. And I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't even know if I could do that again, especially so so soon after the last one, um, which is why I'm, I'm taking a mild reprieve. Uh, I'll have at least a month off before the next one after this, because uh, I am looking into doing the Iron Vault one up north in North Florida. Uh, so yeah, next week we'll be playing in the 90% range, here or there, of comp. And then the week after that, it's going to be nice, easy, just going through all the events, uh, keeping things around the 70s uh, in terms of percent range, just to keep the groove greased and, uh, and going from there. Um, I always do a thing where as I get closer to comp, I start to sort of drop out certain movements and just focus specifically on the events more and more. Uh, this was the last week where I was doing non-competition movements slash accessories. Uh, so like I squatted on Monday. But next week I will not be squatting on Monday. That's going to be specifically just for like yoke and uh, probably farmers just do the two moving events. Um, and those are both sort of deadlift adjacent movements. Uh, which is fine, because then Tuesday I'll do the pressing again. And then Thursday will probably be just straight deadlifts with tire flips. 
practice those movements. And then, uh, but the deadlift won't be quite as heavy as it was this week, probably. Um, or it might be heavier for just a single and then some good back downs. And then Friday will be for pressing and pressing accessories. And then, like I said, the following week after that, it'll be basically the same protocol, but the percentages will be a lot lower, which means I'll do more more sets, basically. The volume will be higher because the intensity is lower. Um, working in the 70% range is uh, not so terrible. So instead of doing, say, one set at that like 90% range for like one or two or, or, or like three sets of singles, that kind of thing, and then backing down again, I'll just do like five sets of like three or four at that lower weight. Um, it all depends on the, the thing too, like yoke. You don't want to really run a ton of it, even when it is light. It's still just super stress stressful on the body. Um, so yeah, it's you know even even with that, it'll probably only be like two or three runs total uh, with the yoke, and just try to focus on getting really good takeoff, really good speed, that sort of thing, as well as. Uh, but but then on like say log, that's a movement where it's relatively stressful, but it's not like crazy stressful. So it's it's one of those things where like hey we could probably do a few more sets with a, even a few more reps get the total volume a little higher and you'll probably be okay uh, with the intensity being so low. So yeah, that's the uh, tentative plan. That was how this week went. Like I said, I'm beat to hell. Two very long days. Still did get managed to get some okay training in. Um, and yeah, looking forward to two weeks from now where I get a nice little deload. Where I'll also be cutting the calories even more uh, to try to lose some some weight there. Um, so hopefully by next weekend I'm somewhere in the 195, 193 area, so I only have to cut like 10 or 11 pounds. It's just like two days of water, basically. But I do want to go back to walking around around 190, walking around at 200. It's not it's not something I need to do. Because then if I'm at 190 to get to the 175s, it's only 15 pounds, which isn't that bad either. So, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, after I've done 20, 15 was nothing, you know what I mean? So, so that's where I'm at right now. And, uh, you know, even though I had two really long days, including pouring 800 pounds of concrete yesterday, I still managed to get some training done, still got the work done. So don't think just because you work like a manual labor job that you can't train with a good bit of intent and intensity. You, uh, you can always bring intensity to a training session. And if you don't, then what's your excuse?